Good day children. Welcome to today's class. Today we will be doing new voices and we will continue with part 4. We have already finished 3 parts. Do you all remember what we did in the last 3 parts? In the first part we did words. In the second part we did activity and frame sentences. In the third part also we did words because there were many words and we also did an activity. Today we will be continuing with the fourth part. So let's get started. We will be doing frame sentences. Now let me test you. Do you all remember what I told you when we a frame sentence what we have to keep in mind yes tell me yes always you have to begin the sentence with a capital letter and end with a full stop and always remember we should not write capital letters in between until and until it is a proper noun correct only if it is a proper noun we have to write the capital letter otherwise we have not to write unnecessary capital letters in between okay so let us see which is the first word hurt h-u-r-t hurt come on children you can frame many sentences think of a sentence okay Let's see the sentence. We must not hurt animals. Repeat children. We must not hurt animals. We must not hurt animals. Yes, you should never hurt animals. They also get hurt. Okay. So, let's see the next one. Favorite. Favorite. Something that you like very much. Okay. Let us see the sentence. Mango is my favorite fruit. Repeat children. Mango is my favorite fruit. Mango is my favorite fruit. Let's see the next one. Secret. You should not tell anyone. Secret. Okay, let's see the sentence. There is a secret room in the house. Repeat children, there is a secret room in the house. There is a secret room in the house. Let's see the next one. Strong. Strong. Think of a sentence children. Okay, let's see the sentence. There is a strong wind blowing outside. Repeat children. There is a strong wind blowing outside. There is a strong wind blowing outside. Let's see the next one. Swings. Swings. Think of a sentence, children. Let's see the sentence. The woodcutter swings his axe to cut the wood. How will the woodcutter move his axe? Up, down, up, down. So he swings his axe. Okay, to cut the wood. So repeat, children. The woodcutter swings his axe 
to cut the wood. Again, the woodcutter swings his axe to cut the wood. Next, leaps, long jump. You all remember? Leaps. Can you think of a sentence? Okay, let's see. The frog leaps out of the pond. Repeat. The frog leaps out of the pond. The frog leaps out of the pond. Next. Dinner. Dinner. Think of a sentence, children. Okay, let's see the sentence. My mother cooked a special dinner for us. Repeat. My mother cooked a special dinner for us. Again. My mother cooked a special dinner for us. Let's see the next one. Climbs. Climbs. Think of a sentence, children. Climbs. Let's see the sentence. Ravi climbs up the tree to see the bird. Repeat, children. Ravi climbs up the tree to see the bird. Again, Ravi climbs up the tree to see the bird. Next, tired, tired. Can you think of a sentence, children? Tired. You use this word very often. Yes. When you come back from school, what do you tell mama? Okay. Let's see the sentence. The tired man rested under the tree. Repeat, children. The tired man rested under the tree. Again, the tired man rested under the tree. Okay, next one. Return. Return. To come back. Return. Okay, let's see the sentence. My father will return from village tomorrow. Repeat children. My father will return from village tomorrow. Again. My father will return from village tomorrow. Let's see the next one. Okay. The next slide is the content outline. Okay. Now, let me brief you about the lesson. What the lesson is about. Now, this lesson is about a little boy. Now, this little boy, he cannot sit in one place. He is always up to something. Sometimes he will run, sometimes he will hop, he will spin and he will fall. He will always do something or the other. His father, his sister, his grandfather, his teacher, they always keep on telling him to sit in one place. But this little boy, 
he doesn't sit in one place is always up to something okay now one day this little boy he went with his mother to the farm now his mother works in a farm so one sunday morning he went along with her to the farm they crossed many fields forest and streams to reach the farm and on the way and throughout the day till his mother worked this boy pretended to be like some animals sometimes he pretended to be a hare hare means a rabbit okay sometimes he pretended to be a deer okay then sometimes he pretended to be a centipede and sometimes he pretended to be a snake he also pretended to be like a spider and a langur do you all remember i had told you what is a langur do you all remember yes a type of monkey do you all remember okay then sometimes he pretends to be like the duck and sometimes he pretended to be like a frog he also pretended to be like a lizard and a goat he also tried to flap his hands up and down and he pretended to fly like a bird then in the evening it was time to go home but he was so tired so tired that he told his mother to pick him up on his back okay and they went home now when he reached home his father sister and grandfather they start laughing at him why they start laughing at him you will come to know when we read the lesson they also do something for him what do they do that also you will come to know when we read the lesson and then he so tired that he goes off to sleep and then he starts dreaming okay but in his dreams also he is up to something he keeps he is doing something and that also will come to know when we will read the lesson okay okay children now let me ask you some questions now as this little boy is moving here and there all the time also uh, you also move from one place to other place yes how do you move from one place to the other place how do you move from one place to another you walk usually you walk from one place to the other place yes sometimes if you have to you are late and if you have to catch a bus you also run right so this is these are the two ways we move from one place to the other place but usually we walk now tell me how does an elephant move from one place to another place yes the animals uh, the elephant also walks and sometimes the elephant also runs most of the animals they walk or run but there are no but all the animals do not move in the same way from one place to the other place then tell me how does a kangaroo or a fish or a bird or a lizard move from one place to other place can you think how do they move from one place to the other place tell me yes let me tell you 
a kangaroo hops a kangaroo hops from one place to the other place now can you see these are his these are the kangaroo's hind legs okay they are l shaped can you see okay now they are very long his the hind legs of the kangaroo are very long and the kangaroo hops with the help of its hind legs okay this is the way the kangaroo moves from one place to the other place now fish how does a fish move from one place to the other place yes the fish swims now all the animals they use certain parts of their body to move from one place to the other place now i as i told you the elephant walks so the elephant walks with its legs now kangaroo jumps with the help of its hind legs now how does the fish move from one place to the other place which part of the body of the fish will help the uh, fish to move from one place to the other place yes the fins and the tail they help the fish to move from one place to other place the uh, fish swims from one place to the other place now let's see bird okay usually all the birds they fly with the help of the wings and they move from one place to the other place but can you tell me which are the two birds that cannot fly they have wings but they cannot fly yes ostrich yes the ostrich cannot fly but it runs very fast another bird can you think of the penguin correct the penguin also has wings but it cannot fly the lizard how does the lizard move from one place to the other place the lizard crawls can you see the lizard's legs yes there is one more here so the lizard crawls it crawls on the ground it crawls on the walls yes so these are the different ways how we move that is human beings move with the help of legs and this is how uh, we saw many how a uh, different animals move from one place to other place right now today we will see which are the different animals that the little boy pretends to be in lesson number 4 satya watch out so today's lesson's name is satya watch out and today we will see what this little boy pretends to be like which animals and we will see when we are reading the lesson we will come to know which all animals he pretends to be okay now let me introduce you to the characters of this lesson now satya is the little boy okay about whom the whole story is now appa is his father appa is his father amma is his mother akka is satya's elder sister tata is satya's grandfather now you all speak we all speak in different languages right now in different languages we refer our family members we call them in a different way now some some call their uh, father as appa like this boy is calling or baba or pitaji or uh, 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 baba okay some call their mother as ai ma mataji yes some call their sister as behna 
didi uh, bahin some call their grandfather as dadaji dadu uh, uh, azoba okay so according to, to what language you speak you call out your family you refer your family members in that particular language now this little boy is he is a tamilian he is, speaks tamil okay his mother tongue is tamil so he calls his father as appa his mother as amma his sister as akka and his grandfather as tata okay now we also have satya's teacher also as one of the character in the story okay now are you all excited to read the lesson yes even i am excited but we will read the lesson in the next class till then you all have to wait and think what satya is going to pretend to be okay now what is your homework now we did so many frame sentences today okay so you all will write down all the frame sentences that we have learned today three times in your rough book and you will also learn the frame sentences and we will continue in the next class so till then goodbye thank you sairam